Hello everyone, welcome back to MedSign Health 360. Today we're diving deep into the complex relationship between alcohol consumption and cancer. We'll explore how alcohol can cause or worsen various types of cancers, empowering you to make informed decisions about your health. All text will be displayed on screen as I speak for better understanding. So grab your favorite drink, maybe not alcohol after this video and let's get started. Let's start our journey in the esophagus, the tube that carries food from your throat to your stomach. Alcohol acts as an irritant, repeatedly injuring the lining of the esophagus. This chronic inflammation makes the cells more vulnerable to damage from other carcinogens, like those found in tobacco smoke. It's like constantly picking at a scab. Eventually, it's going to become a much bigger problem. The combination of smoking and heavy drinking significantly increases the risk of esophageal cancer. The more you drink and smoke, the more damage you inflict on your esophagus, and the higher your risk becomes. But there's hope. Now, let's move down the digestive tract to the stomach, the powerhouse responsible for breaking down food. Alcohol can wreak havoc here, increasing your risk of gastric cancer, also known as stomach cancer. One of the main ways alcohol does this is by irritating the stomach lining, leading to a condition called gastritis. Chronic gastritis, especially when fueled by regular alcohol use, can lead to changes in the cells of the stomach lining, potentially paving the way for cancer development. Think of your stomach lining as a delicate silk scarf. Every time you drink alcohol, it's like pouring a bit of acid on that scarf, slowly weakening its fibers. Over time, those weakened fibers can tear, leading to ulcers and increasing the risk of cancerous cells developing. While heavy alcohol use is a major risk factor for gastritis, even moderate drinking can contribute to its development. Other risk factors include smoking, frequent use of NSAIDs, and infection with Helicobacter pylori. Limiting your alcohol intake is crucial, as is quitting smoking and talking to your doctor about managing any other risk factors you might have. By treating your stomach with respect and making healthy choices, you can reduce your risk of gastric cancer and other digestive issues. Now let's continue our journey through the digestive system and explore how alcohol impacts other vital organs. Moving on to the liver, the workhorse of your body, filtering toxins and processing nutrients. When you drink alcohol, your liver prioritizes breaking it down over its other essential functions. This constant detoxification process can take a toll on the liver, leading to inflammation and damage. Over time, this damage can cause scarring of the liver, a condition known as cirrhosis. Cirrhosis significantly increases the risk of developing liver cancer. Think of your liver as a sponge, filtering out toxins from your blood. Every time you drink alcohol, it's like pouring a bit of bleach on that sponge. At first, the sponge might be able to handle it, but over time, the bleach starts to break down the sponge's structure making it less effective at filtering. Eventually, the sponge becomes so damaged that it can no longer function properly, and that's similar to what happens with cirrhosis of the liver. The good news is that the liver has an incredible ability to regenerate. If you stop drinking alcohol early enough, your liver can often repair some of the damage and potentially prevent cirrhosis from developing. However, once cirrhosis sets in, the damage is often irreversible, and the risk of liver cancer remains elevated. The key is to be mindful of your alcohol consumption and give your liver the respect it deserves. By limiting your alcohol intake, you can help protect your liver from damage and reduce your risk of developing serious health problems like cirrhosis and liver cancer. Let's venture into a lesser known area of the digestive system, the biliary tract. This intricate network of tubes carries bile, a fluid that helps digest fats from the liver to the gallbladder and small intestine. Research suggests that alcohol might indirectly increase the risk of biliary tract cancers by contributing to conditions like gallstones and chronic pancreatitis. Gallstones can irritate and inflame the lining of the biliary tract, potentially increasing cancer risk over time. While more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between alcohol and biliary tract cancers, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks. Maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, and limiting alcohol consumption are all steps you can take to support your biliary tract health. If you have any concerns about your risk factors, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. War. Let's move on to the pancreas, a small but mighty organ tucked behind the stomach that plays a crucial role in digestion and blood sugar regulation. 
The link between heavy drinking and pancreatic cancer is well established. Alcohol damages the pancreas by triggering inflammation, leading to a condition called pancreatitis. Pancreatitis can range from mild to life-threatening. Chronic pancreatitis, often as a result of repeated bouts of acute pancreatitis or long-term alcohol abuse, increases the risk of pancreatic cancer. Think of your pancreas as a delicate flower. Every time you drink heavily, it's like blasting that flower with a heat gun. Over time, repeated exposure to this heat can cause the flower to wither and become more susceptible to disease. Heavy alcohol consumption is a major risk factor for both pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. To protect your pancreas, moderate your alcohol intake or abstain altogether. By making healthy choices, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing pancreatic problems and improve your overall well-being. Let's journey further down the digestive tract to the duodenum and small intestine, where most of the nutrient absorption takes place. While the association between alcohol and cancers in these areas is not as strong as with the organs we've discussed previously, it's still important to understand the potential risks. Some studies suggest that heavy alcohol consumption might slightly increase the risk of duodenal cancer. Alcohol can still damage the lining of the duodenum and small intestine, potentially leading to other digestive problems like ulcers, malabsorption, and diarrhea. While the link between alcohol and cancers of the duodenum and small intestine might be weaker, it's still essential to be mindful of your alcohol intake. Moderation is key, and by making healthy choices, you can help protect your entire digestive system and reduce your risk of developing various health problems. Let's move on to the final destination of our digestive journey, the large bowel, which includes the colon and rectum. Colorectal cancer is one of the most common types of cancer, and alcohol consumption has been linked to an increased risk of this disease. Studies have shown that even moderate drinking can increase the risk of colorectal cancer, especially in men. Alcohol might interfere with the body's ability to break down and eliminate harmful substances, some of which can damage DNA and contribute to cancer development. Alcohol can irritate the lining of the colon and rectum, leading to inflammation. Chronic inflammation can create an environment where cancerous cells are more likely to develop and thrive. Limiting your alcohol intake, along with other healthy habits like eating a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, and getting screened for colorectal cancer, can significantly reduce your risk of developing this disease. You might be surprised to see lung cancer on this list as it's primarily associated with smoking. Emerging research suggests that alcohol might play a supporting role in lung cancer development, even in non-smokers. Alcohol might make the lungs more vulnerable to carcinogens, including those found in tobacco smoke. Alcohol might impair the function of immune cells in the lungs, making it harder for the body to fight off infections and eliminate precancerous cells. Alcohol might increase inflammation in the lungs, creating an environment where cancer cells can more easily grow and spread. While the link between alcohol and lung cancer is complex, this emerging research highlights the importance of considering alcohol's potential impact on lung health. Limiting your alcohol intake might provide additional protection, especially if you're concerned about your lung health. We've explored how alcohol impacts various organs, but let's dive deeper into the science behind it. One of the main culprits is a toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism called acetaldehyde. When you drink alcohol, your body breaks it down into acetaldehyde, which can damage DNA and interfere with DNA repair mechanisms, increasing the risk of mutations that can lead to cancer. Another way alcohol contributes to cancer is by generating reactive oxygen species, ROS, also known as free radicals. These unstable molecules can damage DNA, proteins, and fats, disrupting normal cell function and potentially leading to cancer. Alcohol can also disrupt hormone levels, particularly estrogen, which plays a role in the development of breast, ovarian, and other hormone-related cancers. Additionally, alcohol can weaken the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off infections and eliminate precancerous cells. Alcohol disrupts various biological processes, creating an environment where cancer is more likely to develop and thrive. We've covered a lot of ground today, exploring the intricate link between alcohol and cancer. From the esophagus to the lungs, we've seen how alcohol can disrupt normal cell function, damage DNA, and increase the risk of various cancers. But remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these risks, you can make informed decisions about your health. 
The decision of whether to drink and how much is a personal one. However, it's crucial to be aware of the potential risks and to moderate your alcohol intake accordingly. Moderation is key and by finding a balance that works for you, you can enjoy the journey while minimizing the risks. Factors like genetics, diet, overall health, and other lifestyle choices all play a role. By being mindful of your alcohol consumption, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing these diseases and improve your overall well-being. If you're concerned about your alcohol intake or have any questions about the information we've discussed today, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe now to join our community and take control of your health. Give a thumbs up to encourage us to bring more high quality videos like this one. Check out our channel, MedSign Health 360, for more essential medical and health knowledge. Remember, knowledge is power, and by staying informed, you can make the best choices for your well being. Share your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. We love hearing from you.